This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff so you get the videos I put them out. So you don't think I see me analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, by now, everybody knows that uh, Elon Musk wanted a $56 billion uh, payday. And one of his shareholders filed a lawsuit against him. And eventually the lawsuit was thrown out. But the, the crazy part about this story is that the shareholder that bought the lawsuit only had eight or nine shares of Tesla. Okay, this guy only had eight or nine shares of Tesla. So that tells me he wasn't the, the mastermind behind the lawsuit. And now his attorneys are arguing in court that because of the $56 billion payday that Elon Musk wanted, that they should be granted seven billion dollars in attorney fees and if you look at the amount of hours that they put in and the attorneys that were assigned to the case that's about three hundred and twenty thousand dollars an hour and they are in court right now arguing that they should be entitled to three hundred and twenty thousand dollars an hour for legal work on a civil case about Elon Musk pay package. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. But it goes back to the 1% argument. These 1%ers think they can do whatever they want. Take advantage of whoever they want. And never be held accountable. And then they just go into court and expect the judge to just give away seven billion dollars of tesla money because they think it's public policy favors that okay do you think if this lawsuit was really bought by a real shareholder somebody who was part of the 99 percent a regular retail investor do you think they would be in court arguing these astronomical numbers of course they wouldn't. These are the one percenters fighting the one percenters. And what these guys are allowed to do in our stock market, in our legal system, it is absolutely crazy. I've never seen anything like it. And only in a market that is so controlled by political donors, could a lawyer have the balls to go into court and tell a judge that he or she deserves $320,000 an hour for working on a civil case about somebody's payment package? Absolutely crazy. And the bottom line is this, where's this money coming from? If they have to pay $7 billion to these attorneys, where's that money coming from? AMC retail, not AMC, excuse me, Tesla retail investors. It is coming from the shareholders. I mean, that's really the bottom line. The shareholders are going to end up paying $7 billion to another group of one percenters who do not care anything about a fair and transparent market. Who do not care anything about dog pools. Who don't care anything about the shareholders. It's always money for them. Always money. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that the attorneys rep representing a shareholder who allegedly only had nine, eight or nine Tesla shares should be granted $7 billion in attorney fees? Anyway... Have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.